Thank you for clicking on this video, and welcome to Ultraman Explained. In this video, I'll be doing a request for You Can't See Me, and I'll be giving a bio of everyone's favorite superior, Ultraman Zafi. Thank you, You Can't See Me, for all the comments and the request. I really appreciate all your support, and I hope to continue seeing you around the comments. Well, without further delay, let's get into it. Ultraman Zafi has had a few different human hosts or forms. To name a few, Professor Otani, an unnamed volleyball player, and Shingo Sakamizu. Ultraman Zafi stands at a height of about 45 meters and weighs about 45,000 tons. I've started to notice there's always a little bit of a correlation there. As for his age, he is roughly about 25,000 years old, and he comes proudly from the home world of Planet Ultra. Now, since his inception, Ultraman Zafi has had many, many voice actors. I could find 13 just right off the bat, but due to this being a brief bio, I'll maybe go ahead and include each and every one of those people in a later video, maybe something like an explained video. But just know, Ultraman Zafi has had 13 different voice actors, roughly. Now, as for suit actors, he's really only had two, one being Ben Furuya and the other one Koichi Toshima. Ultraman Zafi's first appearance in canon was in Ultraman episode 39, Farewell Ultraman, which aired in 1967. And his last appearance to date in canon was Ultraman Ginga episode 7, which aired in 2015. Now, he might have had a few since then, but I couldn't really find anything after Ginga, but I could be wrong. As for number of appearances, he has had several too many to list in this video without it getting boring. So just know that he has had many, many appearances throughout the Ultra Canon, and I'm sure if you've watched enough Ultraman, you've probably seen him somewhere. As for race, he is obviously an Ultra, and according to Canon, he is still very much alive. Now, for any family members he might have, it's alleged that Ultraman King actually might be his grandfather. I found quite a few sources that actually said that, but I feel much more comfortable going with alleged grandfather. As for his father, his father was killed in action, didn't list too much more about that, and his mother is also deceased. During his time in the canon, Ultraman Zafi has had quite a few different affiliations and groups he's been a part of, such as the Ultra Brothers, the Space Garrison, of course the people of the Land of Light, his affiliation with the original Ultraman who was his inferior, and Ultraman Mebius who was actually his active pupil. Now Zafi, also known as Ultraman Zafi, is a superior officer of the Space Garrison, as well as the leader of the Ultra Brothers. He first appeared in the final episode of the original Ultraman TV series, Farewell Ultraman, thus becoming the very second Ultra being from Nebula M78 to go to Earth. Alongside his role as the leader of the Ultra Brothers, Zafi is the second Ultra Brother to have debuted in the Ultra franchise, and carries a significantly important role among the Space Garrison. Zafi is also suggested to be the grandson of Ultraman King, now, he's most noticeable for the metallic studs that dot his uniform. The various metallic studs on his shoulders and chest are actually medals of honor, they're not pointless studs. As captain of the Ultra Brothers, he was responsible for sending many Ultra Crusaders to Earth to defend it. Additionally, he patrols at the end of Earth's galaxy, keeping large-scale alien invasions at bay. So, the many studs go to show that he's a very highly decorated Ultraman. Well, that'll about cap this brief bio of Ultraman Zafi, but... I decided I'd throw in a few extra facts just for fun. So number one. Old illustrations of the final episode of Ultraman show an unclear scene where the alien that controlled Zeton was going actually to be named Zafi. Number two. In the original Japanese airing of this episode, Ultraman asked Zafi to identify himself, who are you? However, for unknown reasons, this line of dialogue was actually cut, making Zafi introduce himself first without being asked. Number three, in the American release, Ultraman's conversation with Zafi has changed from discussing Ultraman's willingness to sacrifice himself so that Hayata can live, to Zafi scolding Ultraman for losing the battle to Zeton, who he claims is a less powerful opponent, despite Zeton actually withstanding easily most of Ultraman's attacks. Number four, when Zafi appeared in the first episode of Ultraman Ace, his suit was recycled from an Ultraman Jack suit, which was repainted and had his medals added on. And number five, in Ultraman Taro, Zafi usually shouts his attack before using it, like Taro. This was because Saburu Shinoda was his voice actor at the time. Well, that'll conclude this request for a brief bio on everyone's favorite superior, Ultraman Zafi. You can't see me, I hope you enjoyed this, and I very much appreciate all your support. And for everyone else, 
You know the drill. Go ahead and leave me a comment at the bottom of this video telling me what you think or any other videos you'd like to see me do in the future. Go ahead and smash the like button as it lets me know I'm doing something right. And go ahead and hit subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all the videos released here on Ultraman Explained. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.